Hello dear friends, the world is not made for simple minds, but for intelligent players, because it is a very convoluted plot, a very complicated puzzle, and a maze with a difficult exit, nor it is made for wake beings, because you have to fight hard to survive. The price of ignorance is dearly paid, and gullibility, gullibility leads to the state. Clever as snakes, but innocent as doves. Opinion piece. Game theory. Optimal strategy. Nothing is as it seems. Time is speeding up. Pandora's box will be opened. Every popularizer has his theory. We see only a part of the great plan. Almost every nation is in crisis. The script is beyond your thinking. We are entering a, a wild storm. We only know a small part of the truth. The truth is so much more than what they are talking ab about. Keep your head while everyone loses theirs. Historians will call this the crisis of the 21st century. Europe is the main economic victims of sanctions. We are in a struggle between two opposing timelines. I know everything is out of control, but the mind creates doubts. Earth will once again be a galactic federation planet. Let's start. You are watching a well-written movie to expose the dark side of the world by applying game theory, says the storm rider. It will be difficult to understand what is going on, as long as each popularizer has his own particular theory, because each source of intelligence seems to say a different thing to confuse us, and the truth movement is divided into many different schools. I try not to take sides, but to put forward various opinions. Game theory is the study of mathematical models of strategic interactions between rational agents. Game theory uses models to study interactions in formalized incentive structures called games. Game theory has become a very important tool for economic theory and has contributed to a better understanding of humankind's decision-making behavior. It is a solution concept that all players use, knowing the strategy that maximizes their payoffs, giving the strategy of other players, so that they lack incentives to make an individual change of a strategy. That is the logic we use whenever we interact with another human being when, for example, we try to get the last piece of a cake in a coffee shop or do some or do someone a favor that we hope they will return in the future. Economists use game theory to analyze a wide range of economic problems, including auctions, duopolis, oligopolis, the formation of social networks and voting systems. These investigations are focused on particular sets of strategies known as solution concepts. These solution concepts are based on what is required by the rules of perfect rationality. Recently, the usefulness of game theory and its analytical methodologies for the criminal liability of legal persons such as companies associations and foundations, and for the development of models for predicting, detecting and reacting to crimes committed by managers and employees in such organizations is being addressed. A strategy. Within a war, there are the good guys, the bad guys, and in the middle are the infiltrators. Infiltration exists on both sides of the war, and intelligent agencies use it wisely according to the Storm Rider. The US intelligence community is composed of 18 organizations, of which 
there are two independent agencies, nine elements of the Department of Defense, and seven elements of other departments and agencies. Blondie was not de deceived, nor was he stupid in the strategic move, moves advised by the coalition leadership. The information he received and the commanders he worked with placed certain infiltrated moles close to him or far away in different divisions of the government. Most people still find it hard to understand that the presidents do not have full classified clearance for all of most intelligence agencies. For more than eight decades, intelligence agencies have only viewed presidents as part-time employees, and they are not allowed full access to classified materials for their own protection. Global operation. This worldwide COVID operation involves many double agents, triple agents, moles, grey hats and all colors. These moles are placed for later disruptions or to draw attention to a needed location, while moles are also infiltrated to befriend the president, spy on him, and then quietly turn against him. These are strategic moves for future disclassification. The future proves the past. Corrupt operations are called dead bodies because no one knows where they are buried, but there are those who know the whole truth and have all the evidence. The truth is that there is a high intensity operation going on, and the twist and plot will blow your mind again because nothing is what it seems, and everything is placed and planned with what is going on. When this was investigated, they uncovered a massive scandal involving senior officials. They were faced with two choices. They take the lid off this Pandora's box and pursue it, or make it disappear by throwing it on the white whistleblowers who brought them the data. Breaking heads. We must understand that the various whistleblowers are talking about and be aware that it is only a small portion of the truth. The puzzle is connected to the declassification and to the accusations. The whistleblowers are only seeing a small part of the liar superior plan that is being carried out. You are watching a flawless plan unfold, but we only see a tiny percentage of what is really all going on. The real script is beyond your thinking. Only the future will prevail over the past. The truth is much more than what you are talking about and knowing. This Tom Ryder is of the opinion that the November election will most likely not happen, because the dark side is trying to create false flags to provoke a civil conflict and cancel the elections as the Democrats would be finished. We are entering a wild storm and in the end the only way is the martial one. There are no goal posts in this war and they are the and they are only put back up after every battle. Reset news The dark side is trying to start a world war because war would be the only way to hide their unspeakable secrets. Europe is the main economic victims, victim of the sanctions. Europe is in recession and Germany would be the first country to collapse. Italy's government is in free fall. Macron loses the French parliament. Macron warns of the end of abundance. According to the President, France is in a period of anxiety that demands sacrifices from citizens. All in quotes. Collapse of Estonia's coalition government. The departure of the UK Prime Minister leaves the government in chaos. The 
Internal Revenue Service launches a comprehensive security review in response to Republican criticism over $80 billion in funding to recruit agents. FBI warrant for Mar-a-Lago had no legal basis, say constitutional law lawyers. Lawsuit filed to remove judge who approved FBI search warrant. Big Swear says silver is down 30% in two years, but 50% more fiat money was printed. Gregory Manarino says we are well beyond the recession. Expect a severe depression to hit hard. According to Simon Black, future historians will call this the crisis of the 21st century. Former Twitter executive Alix that the company cheated Elon Musk. Twitter shares fall more than 5% amid whistleblower allegations. Elon Musk will expose platforms connected to fake artificial intelligence systems. The Elon Musk saga is just beginning. Facebook meltdown. Users fear hackers behind the bizarre worldwide Facebook glitch after they were flooded with pages made by strangers. Users flocked to Twitter to complain about random comments, worried that the social network had been hacked. The hard truth is that social networks spy on our personal data, according to Storm Rider. The White Hats at the highest level are building a network of truth through operations to acquire Europe's largest news networks, while the Chinese elders of the Dragon family are selling their shares in BlackRock and Vanguard. FedEx grand contractors demand inflation relief to avoid the delivery collapse due to financial stress. A piece on the Davos Forum website says there are rational reasons, in quotes, to implant a tracking chip in your children. The Davos Forum released a new video and launched the campaign and now they are urging people to do less laundry because it will cost climate change, in his opinion. Roger Waters believes there is a revolution, a revolution on the way in Latin America that could stop US hegemonism. World Bank warns of new crisis amid rising food costs. Record food prices could push millions into extreme poverty. Sri Lanka is experiencing significant shortages in its domestic food supply with agricultural production falling by 40 to 50 percent from July due to fertilizer fertilizer shortages, coupled with a lack of foreign exchange to buy imported food. The global food crisis has been exacerbated by a growing number of trade restrictions imposed by countries seeking to increase domestic supply and reduce prices since the Ukraine conflict began, the World Bank said. Russia slows the pace of military operation in Ukraine to minimize civilian casualties. Russia shows the United Nations the internationally banned antipersonal mines that Ukraine is using against the population of Donbass. A businessman is willing to sell a chain of islands strategically located near Australia to China. When Someone asks if Yisera will arrive in about nine months, and Jared answers, in quotes, No, it won't happen in nine months. It is much closer than that. We are very close now to activation. Mike Kinsey says, in quotes, Rest assured that in the near future, many acceptable changes will have occurred and you will have established the beginning of a new era. The cleansing will have restored life 
as you desire it, and lay the foundation for a period of peace and happiness. It is there waiting for you to raise your level of consciousness and enjoy the fruits of a positive life. Sananda says that right now we are in the midst of, of a great change, change, not exactly the great shift that will accompany the event of the great solar flare, but the shift that is leading to all that is taking to you out of the old three-dimensional expression, or that illusory expression, and is taking you into the higher fourth dimensional and fifth dimensional expression of your creation. Archangel Michael says our time is at hand. We are approaching our first great victory. However, this will not be our last challenge, far from it. There will be more challenges ahead, more changes we must make to reflect the truth of God's love for humankind on earth. Many more challenges. Accelerating Time by Crayon through Lee Carroll In the next few years, astronomers and physicists can begin to piece together the relative time anomaly and their part in it. You are changing time in your area but you have no other time frame to compare it to. Therefore, time appears to be the same, but at the cellular level, most of you are aware of the acceleration that is occurring. While this may not, take, not make sense to you, there will come a time when science will look at the universe around you and say that it is slowing down. The reality is that you are accelerating be aware. It has to do with the relativity of time, this planet and what you have done. Some of you wake up early in the morning with anxiety because your cells feel it. Reflections. Laura Eisenhower has spoken about the current world games and what they mean on a spiritual level to humankind and to our spiritual evolution as a species. We are currently in a battle between two opposing timelines fighting for the future of humankind. Until every last drop of desire has been milked from your pink, you will be the devil's wet nurse, says the poet dog. In quotes, the senses are much like horses and just as powerful. They pull the chariot of your pink and without triumph in the mind, without the quieting of the reactive mind, you will not control them with the reins for long. The reins are an extension of the mind. I know that everything is under control, but the mind is still waking to confuse my sanity and create doubt about that of which there can be no doubt. Tyranny, according to James Gilliland, Many of those who profess the strong leaders are putting up a facade to cover up deep wounds and traumas, their own victim patterns. They are trying to resolve their own patterns by helping others without knowing what they themselves are the ones they are trying to heal. Victims often come with agendas. When you don't meet their agenda, they become the persecutor and you become the victim. The, the deeper the wound, the darker and more vicious the attack. They have to assassinate their character to stay in the lie. Their egos struggle to survive, but their enemy is usually fictional. They are only fighting against their own projections. Right now by Steve Biko. The controllers are, are running one traffic, one tactic after another in their playbook, bioweapons, digital ID, digital currency, burning food distribution plants, using crickets as food, and so on. They think the world will not believe what is happening and will not respond, and a large number of people seem unable to believe it. We know that it's not in the divine plan, that will not be the platform 
from which the integration of diverse civilizations will take place. That is not the plan, so it will not happen. First, Earth opens a new space in consciousness with our ascension, and then the rest of the galaxies in our universe follows us into that space. That space will not be launched from a platform of control and abuse. If you can keep your head while everyone around you is losing theirs, chances are you are not on social media. If uh, I don't understand it, this must be a mistake. If you are watching the challenge is to stay alive, truth and peace, while you digest the main events, I only have eyes for love, truth and peace, and the service that seems to come naturally out of those divine states. Returning to the origin, Earth will once again become a galactic federation planet according to Aurora Ray. Some time ago, negative forces came to Earth. They used advanced mind control techniques to take over the inhabitants and take control of the resources. These forces are trying to take over the entire galaxy. But that is not all. These creatures can also disguise themselves as humans. Here is what makes it difficult. They hide in plain sight. However, there is some good news. Earth will be restored. The Earth will be healed. The darkness will be eradicated. Earth will ascend to higher dimensions. Earth will once again become a planet of the Galactic Federation. The planet was once part of that group, but became disconnected. We have been in darkness for thousands of years. Now we are returning to normal. Our planet will be restored to its former state. The Federation was founded a hundred million years ago to assist planet Earth in her transition out of this space and back to the ascended state. It is made up, it is made up of many different types of beings from many star systems and galaxies. Some by Mars are humanoid like us, while others have completely different forms. The most common visitors are what we call Pleiadians. However, this term actually includes several different races from the Pleiades constellations. Ascension means that humankind will no longer live in, den in denial and will begin to live as one village, as one people, I mean, in harmony with each other and with the natural world around them. As more people awaken to reality, they will realize that we need all type of views, opinions and abilities represented in order for us all to thrive. As more souls awaken, they will begin to embrace their divine identity by looking within for guidance rather than relying on external authorities. There are rumors of an event that will occur in the near future. It will be a massive spiritual awakening, the likes of which humankind has never seen before. The event marks the beginning of a new era for humankind, where we are no longer considered a controlled and limited species where we will finally take a rightful place among all the other planets of the Federation as full members, and where every soul on Earth will have access to technology that makes life easier and more enjoyable, such as anti-gravity devices, cold fusion energy devices, and advanced, and advanced teleportation systems. The event will happen sooner or later, and in some form of fashion that is difficult to predict at this time. After all, it is an unprecedented process. But one thing is certain. We are moving towards this future every moment of every day. Ascension is an individual process. The frequency of the fifth dimension is now accessible. And if you decide, and if you decide that this will be your reality, and you take the necessary steps 
to heal at the quantum level and reprogram the unconscious mind, then you are in for the right in your life. If you do the work, the world around you will transform into a fifth dimensional heaven on earth. You will transform into a powerful and joyful being of light on earth. There may be scarcity, pain and suffering on earth, but only you hold the key to the reality you experience. You decide which door will open and which will close. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.